Hmm. Okay. Forgot about Guile. <laughs> Whoops a daisy. <laughs> Alright. So let's see how this matchup's going to go. Uh hmm. Yuri's gonna have to walk for it. He's not gonna be able to really fight the fireball fight with him. Round this might one. be a little bit difficult for the Yuri. Fight. But he's gonna start with fireballs. Okay. That All was right. smart. Go ahead and her up. Good tech there. All right. Ooh, crush counter. Eight, eight, eight. All right. Ooh, watch your Got dome. Uh, uh, Wind that uh, kick uh, up, son. Uh. Yeah, he knows it. That's his main meter. Huge life lead already. All right. For Monty. Pretty. I love how his name's Monty Mika, and he's not using Mika. Round two. <laughs> A bad advertisement. Okay, so, you know, if you play a gal, you should Sonic Boom. That's one of the things that you can do with. I don't, I'm not seeing a lot. There we go. Okay. I'm, I'm surprised he actually let that hit him from full screen like that. <laughs> okay. All right. Ooh. Okay. Jump it short to his grab. Keep it a little simple. Oh, that was an easy jump yeah. over there. Let him, let him jump right in. And, <laughs> wow, just do it flash kicks. Bet the farm on that one pays off. Oh, yeah, supposed to get a little bit closer. Just the fireball. It's wow, again. One. He's like, he's like, there's no way he's gonna actually just mash. Yeah, it's kick. a lot of not caring. <laughs> it's a lot of not caring in this match right now. Okay, so if I'm Gal, I, I need to establish an offense over the defense. It's not really going to. He's, you know, just negating the fact that he has a charging Sonic Boom and going in and going and pushing buttons. You know, establish the offense from full screen. That's what Gal. Well, honestly, no, like. He is not playing. He needs to actually play defensively. His defense has so many gaps in it. That's that is the frustrating thing about Guile is that he keeps you out. He does so much damage. His buttons are good. His booms are good, and he's got a great anti air. Right. So it should be so hard for you to get in here and get him to stun. It should. But you know, one hit away allows himself to get out of the corner. However, just backs off, gives him complete ground to just walk right out. Exactly. So he gets the reestablished space, but he has a lot of room to make up. And he doesn't make it. Yeah, break. lets him jump right in almost every time. We have not seen any anti-air right. from Zentz. Yeah, I'm not a fan. But he still got a match. You know, he can turn around and I'll wait for it. The last match, the money he could okay. Back fist. pull it away. Gotta control the space. He is not controlling the space. Ooh, that was a good kick. Punish. Okay. There we go. You can see a little bit of zoning up here. Like he kind of shook the rain rust out a little bit. Oh, the jump. The whiff, but he gets to throw. First time we're seeing Ooh. Zen with a life lead. Now let's see if he can sit on it again. Just play defensively. Bait him into jumping. And get ready for the end here. It was not ready. Again. Not a good B skill usage there. Oh, uh, uh, EX headbutt. Got him in the corner. Oh okay, my God. finally bakes it out yeah. for the win. So now he knows he wants to mash him out, and that's a quick 2 0 yes. for Monty Mika. Uh, all right, good job to Monty Mika. Just exposing the fact that he wasn't really setting up a real defense option with no salt, no real Sonic Booms, no real, like, this game, kind of game plan. And he wasn't really just calm with it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're playing Gal. You can't really rush. You have to just be willing to set somebody hang himself. And that wasn't happening. He wasn't really establishing that. So good job to Monty Mika exposing him for that. And getting good 2-0. So let's see who we have coming up next. Oh, Los. Okay, so I know him. He is a gal player. He is a pretty good gal player. Okay, so now um, we're going to see... Somebody actually putting into use what we said we should have seen last game. Exactly. You know, Gal, I mean, Los has been playing Gal for quite a bit. Um, he knows how to zone him. He knows how to anti-air, you know, with just normals. He knows how to be patient because, you know, so Gal play, you have to be patient. Um, so I know what to expect from him. I don't know what to expect from his opponent. I have not seen him around. I don't know if he's out of town or what. You know, this is Momocon. This is one of the biggest cons in the southeast. Um, so who knows? But he might surprise us, and I'm, and I'm waiting for that to happen. Let's see. All right. And 
What? Are they doing old fashioned button check too? Is this, is this, is this no, what we've I, I wouldn't think. Los is probably going to go to the, um, yeah, here we go. You know, it's 2017. Some people just check their buttons at the, you know, not at yeah. the, the game screen. Los knows what's up. Thank goodness. And his <laughs> opponents does too. His opponents just went ahead and just got it done. And the gentleman helped them put his uh, controller in the PS4. Look at that. I love that Shadow Loose stick. I was so close to buying that Shadow Loose stick, but then I realized that uh, you could Legacy. I was like, well, my stick has been trusty and faithful for so many years that I'm not going to buy that shadow stick until my stick breaks. Oh, really? what, what stick do you have? I use the 8 arc dual modded uh, the 8 arc dual mod so okay. I can use that on PS3 and Xbox 360 but of course I can legacy it with Guilty Gear and right. Street Fighter 5 right, on right. PS4 so yeah. I'm in a good spot. <laughs> yeah, I, I love those things. And our 8 our stakes always have a nice finish. And actually, for Blaze Blue, when I play Blaze Blue, Hori created a controller specifically for a Wii, the Wii U game Pokémon Tournament. Yeah. You can actually use that Hori pad to play Blaze Blue. Really? On PS4. Wow. It's crazy. It's it's like the greatest thing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Instant air dashes are really so great with it. Wait, Pokémon Tournament? <laughs> yes. That's some type of licensing issue, I bet you. No, I mean, it's Hori, and it's USB, so it works, because Hori makes controllers for uh, fighting games. That's two <laughs> different systems. Like, I've <laughs> never seen that, like, a Nintendo... Okay, you know what? Shout out to Hori. Yeah, I because normally, guys. Nintendo makes their own controllers. Right. But, but this is Hori, it's a third party, so exactly. they're like, we're going to make it for everybody. You know what? I like you, Hori. <laughs> You're cool people. All right, so we got Mika versus Gal. Round one. Oh, she said a bad word. I know, right? But it's a bad situation. Are we still, still doing it? What is? What is? What is this? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Uh, I am upset and appalled. Right. But just, uh, come on, guys. We're, we're supposed to be better than. We are better than this. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, you You're not better. Than you me. thought. <laughs> you thought. You thought you were better. You thought wrong, son. All right, Mika versus God is going to be kind of a difficult match. But then again, Mika is probably going to jump in on Gal more often than not. It's not charged. Mika has a really good jumping fierce punch. Kind of beats a lot of uh, either Gal's anti-air or a key contested. 